This bottle of champagne has been sitting in an ice bucket. It registers about 32 degrees. Now I'm not opening it to celebrate, but actually to prove a point. Now Joe here is also opening a bottle of champagne, but his has been sitting in a 93 degree water bath. So here's the thing, all of these champagne bottles contain the same amount of carbon dioxide, but temperature and pressure affect how much of that gas can be dissolved in the wine. Warm liquids can't hold on to nearly as much gas as cold ones. So when the bottles are open and the pressure is released, the warmer ones contain a lot more undissolved gas, which expands instantaneously, propelling the champagne all over Joe. Thanks, Joe. Meanwhile, in this nice cold champagne, the CO2 stays right where we want it, in the wine. So you can use this information in two ways. When making your own seltzer water at home, always start with the coldest water possible for the bubbliest beverage. And when it comes time to open any carbonated beverage, you want to get those bottles as cold as possible. Or prepare to get wet. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.